Also developing right now, we're still working to learn more about a deadly shooting outside a Target involving Osceola County deputies. The shooting happened a week ago today, and now the family of the man shot and killed is speaking publicly for the first time. The Osceola County Sheriff has not said what prompted his deputies to shoot, and as News 6's Mark Lehman reports, he was reluctant to take our questions today. Since last week, Sheriff Marcos Lopez has refused to release details about what led to the deputy-involved shooting. I pressed him on the issue this morning, but the sheriff is still not providing the public with answers. Why did deputies feel the need to use deadly force? Let's do this. I'll make one little statement. Sheriff Marcos Lopez reluctant to take our questions about why deputies opened fire on four men after a shoplifting incident last week. The shooting killing one and injuring two others. Lopez promising transparency but providing few details about what happened. I turn it over to the Department of uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement so they can do their investigation. Once that investigation is concluded, then we'll talk about it. We'll have all the facts and we'll go forward from there. Okay. Other agencies but that's, have that's, that's all I'm sta stating today. Other agencies okay? have released this Thank information you. before. Why not your agency? Like I said, I just explained it. What part of that don't you get? When pressed further, the sheriff said this. Because this is how we do it. This is how we do our our our. Uh, our investigations. It's the right thing to do by turning it over to a separate entity. Let them do their job and as soon as it comes out, whatever the outcome is, then we come out and we start talking about it. People have to respect that. We're not another department. We're Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Totally different. Okay. The statement coming as attorneys for the four men involved announced a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the sheriff's office this morning. In a press release, lawyers called the shooting a misuse of police authority and use of unnecessary and excessive force. The attorneys representing the suspects plan to speak at a press conference today, and that's also when we could hear from family members. We'll have much more on that this afternoon. In Osceola County, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.